So let's say you bought your first Bitcoin on your BitGet account. Now I recommend you store some of your crypto in your own wallet. You should always diversify your crypto holdings across a few different wallets. You have two options for this. Number one, you can use a hot wallet or you can use a cold wallet. The difference is in a cold wallet, your keys are stored offline. In a hot wallet, your keys are stored online. The hot wallet is more convenient, but the cold wallet is a bit safer. One big misconception that 90% of all people in crypto have is that a wallet stores your crypto. This is wrong. The crypto is always on the blockchain, but the wallet stores your private keys. And the private keys are the authority to spend the crypto and to sign transactions. So you have to keep your private keys and also your seeds, which are your backup to your wallet, always safe. Long term, you should definitely have a cold wallet, which I will show you in a different video. But for more convenience and for small amounts of crypto, a hot wallet is perfectly fine. I use a hot wallet every single day to transfer profits from my BitGet trading onto my hot wallet and to transfer to friends to pay for things and just overall for a quick and easy access. Over the last three years, I tested hundreds of hot wallets and right now I have a handful of preferred hot wallets. One of them is Exodus. Exodus has the best user face in my opinion and it's so convenient to use. The website is called exodus.com. Choose this option right here. Then go to download. Exodus has three different versions. Number one, desktop, mobile, or web three. I personally, I always use the mobile version and the desktop. So basically you can have one wallet with your crypto on it and you can access your crypto from your phone while you are traveling or in the gym or somewhere else. And also on your desktop, let's say you are trading on BitGet and you wanna quickly transfer funds to BitGet and off BitGet. We will choose now Exodus desktop. We click here. Then you choose your operating system. I have a Mac, so I choose Mac, this one right here. And we can see it's downloading. Now we click here, then we open it. Now double click to open. Now comes the most important step. The first thing that you wanna do is, you wanna back up and secure your wallet. So for this, go right here on the settings icon, then click on backup. Now first you wanna set a very strong password. Next, now again, confirm it, next. Now this is the most important part, which is your seed phrase, also known as your seeds. Now you wanna click on view seed phrase. Your seed phrase consists of 12 words, sometimes 24, but for Exodus it's 12. You wanna take a piece of paper and write them down word by word perfectly. Ideally, you make two copies of this and you store it at different places, very, very secure. Whoever has your seed phrase can access all of your crypto. So it's really important that you keep your seed phrases very, very secure. One thing which I recommend is actually you memorize all 12 words in your head. You can do this, for example, by inventing a story containing all your 12 words in order, but also keep another backup somewhere or maybe even two backups in different locations. Now we can see here, the first word is labor, since, weird, and so on and so forth. Don't share your seed phrase with anyone. Now we click done. In the next step, you have to confirm one of your words. And here we go. Now you backed up your wallet and you set a secure password to access your wallet. One cool feature of Exodus is you can actually buy crypto in the wallet. So you can choose the middle one right here. And then you can choose, for example, euro or pound, whatever you have. And you can use your debit or credit card to buy some crypto directly there. And also you can cash it out back to your card right here. Now I personally, I recommend you buy crypto on BitGet because you have less fees and you get a better price. But for convenience and sometimes if you need it quickly, you can do it right here, which is also helpful and a nice feature. So we will go back right here to home. Then we click on make your first deposit, receive crypto. So let's say you made some nice trades on BitGet and you wanna cash out a thousand dollars of USDT and profits. You would select USDT right here. Now you can see there are many versions. USDT is available on many different blockchains. The most common one is of course Ethereum. So we choose here USDT ETH ETH. We click on this. Now we have here a deposit address. Now you can scan this either with your phone camera or you simply copy this address and then you use this address to send the funds, which means you will receive the funds in your Exodus wallet on this address right here. 
let's say you want to deposit some Bitcoin, you click on X and then you click here, Bitcoin, or you can search it also here, Bitcoin, you can receive funds. You see your address here. If you want to send, you click on send and then you paste the address here or you can choose this feature and you can scan from your desktop right here and it will recognize it and you could send it directly to this. As you can see, Exodus has so many different cryptos that you can receive and send. It's really, really convenient. So let's say you have some Bitcoin, you can swap it directly in Exodus to USDT or Ethereum. So for example, you click right here on swap. So let's say you wanna swap Bitcoin to Ethereum or let's even say Bitcoin to Aave. You type in the amount, for example, $100 and you can see how much you would get. Now, of course, you would get a better price if you use BitGet, but for convenience and for small amounts, this is perfectly fine. Now, once you set up your desktop version, you can download the app on your phone and then you can use the seeds, which you wrote down on a piece of paper and you can import them in your phone. So in your phone app, it will also give you those three options and then you would choose import wallet. You would basically put your seeds in there in your phone and you would have the exact same wallet on your phone. But of course also set a strong password on your phone so only you can access your wallet. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. I will answer every single comment because I wanna help you on your crypto journey to be successful. Please like the video, I would really appreciate it. Also subscribe, hit the ring bell so you're always notified of a new video. Thank you so much for watching and your amazing support. See you in the next video, peace.